Hello guys, it's Mr. Trucker again and welcome to another video where I'm about to show you a couple of new modes that I've downloaded and also the whole setup that I use in my game which includes a lot of modes that I've downloaded before and which are compatible with each other and not making any game crashes or affecting your gameplay. Okay, let's first take a look of all the modes that I've included in my game. First mode you see is a trailers mode pack. And the second thing is an American trailer, uh, which is the SCS file that comes with the trucks zip file. Body activation is a dispatcher mode that I've previously reviewed. All garage doors open is a new mode. As you can tell, it makes all the doors on the garages open and it's quite awesome. Kenworth W900 is a mode that I, no, I'm not using in this game right now. Colesa VNL is one of the files for the truck. Mega Traffic mode uh, for my TSM map I don't use, it kind of gets in the way with the trailers mode pack. The Realistic Physics V7 by Kazakh is the best uh, realistic physics mode that I use and uh, I use it from the beginning. Scania default sound is one of the two sounds, uh, the sound modes that you get uh, uh, and I use uh, both of them and they're very good and it actually works with uh, the truck mode that I've uh, downloaded. Stobart company mode is a mode I've previously reviewed, I don't use it right now and now we'll see the TSM map files that needs to be checked. I use them all uh, beside one. Just play mode is uh, like an extension that I don't use because uh, it doesn't work with uh, the trailers mode pack. Volvo FH16 real dashboard and uh, red lighting by Kazakh does not work with this truck mode so I'm taking the taking them off. Volvo default sound is uh, the sound that works great with this truck and it comes with the Scania default sound and this is a third SCS file for Volvo VNL 780 together with Colesa and American Trailer, which I don't use in this game. And it comes to the Scania Deluxe interior, which is the interior for my Scania trucks that I really like. And here it is. And take a look at the icon picture. It's really ugly. But anyway, it looks like this when you're trying to find a job in the quick job. See? Well, I hope there will be more versions of this mode. I hope uh, it will be very soon because I like this truck and I think you will like it too. And I hope the author is uh, going to watch this video. So, this is... Um, an invitation for him to, um, for them actually, it's uh, this truck mode uh, is made uh, by two authors, the Big Bob and XC666, and well done guys. So cargo weight, you can sort it by cargo weight like I did, and you you will see. On the top of the list, uh, the big loads, oversized loads, and you can see the locomotive, the tanks, the case tractors, the, um, you have the 
standard loads uh, and uh, as I saw the older trailers have uh, some changes made so it looks good when you go to Fright Market when owning your own truck you can even see the loads on the picture and they are very great I really like them and uh, I'm going to stick to this mode it kind of uh, looks so realistic you see the boat it has even uh, um, it has some good things the Krone X1000 quite realistic the Mantrox nice I really like it the agricultural equipment I've uh, driven this uh, cargo the tires really nice really nice oh I have only crossed 3.70 percent of uh, the map I had to make a new profile to start a new game guys take a look at the truck I love this truck you go to your Volvo dealers you can uh, use a buy online as you can see the this mode covers all the trucks in the uh, in the in the shop but I just wanted to demonstrate that you can uh, buy it online it works good and as well as uh, if you visit the dealers and here they are no bugs here I'm going to choose uh, the most expensive one like this one okay like this one and let's customize it okay not uh, any visible changes with the cabin the chassis <laughs> this is funny what's that there is a wheel under the truck all the time I don't know what is that but oh well, maybe that will be fixed as well okay standard engines 750 standard transmission and the interior okay by default it's the standard let's choose uh, another interior looks good if I choose oh, exclusive okay we got a radio and GPS navigation couple of more buttons on the dashboard and the same for the UK looks good the wheel is a uh, oh there is a bug for the UK well, let's see this okay I didn't see that okay from the outside it looks good no double wheels or anything like that the colors this green one I don't like the, the mirrors have the color of their own so I will put this one maybe the chrome looks good because of the front mirrors uh, 
lot of uh, accessories are available, I, I would say. Okay, you can put your beacon. That's nice. What is this? Oh. Like a shiny... A shiny space. Okay. I'm going to lose a beacon. I don't think it uh, fits here. And I'm going to leave this. Maybe this longer one. Um, okay, the lights, the light bar. Uh, this won't work. Okay, I like this sign. What is this? Oh yeah. I've been watching some videos on the YouTube and I saw this exactly like this. This truck is uh, vis visually uh, very well made with all the original details. But uh, I don't like the light bar, it kind of uh, uh, sticks out from the cabin. Like it's melt in. I don't like it. Uh, sun visor. Nice. And you have the front. What is it called? Mux Bloom. A bull bar. This is nice. Nice looking, but uh, I'm preferring without it. It seems to have a lot of accessories available. But only, I think, the first one uh, really fits the cabin. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only the first one. The lower grill guard really doesn't fit. Now this is interesting. Has all kinds of uh, side skirts with uh, with this shiny parts. Now it looks great. Let me try again. Okay. Nice. It really looks nice. This is, I think, the best. It's the best, all right. There are no wheels that uh, come with this truck. So you get only standard. I like this Eastern Eagle, it looks nice, it looks much better than uh, this uh, Goodyear with the red circle inside. Now the front mirrors, kind of uh, like this uh, rectangular shape, but uh, it seems to me that uh, this one has a fault. It seems to me that the best visibility you can get uh, is with uh, uh, the rounded ones. 
see the rectangular actually looks much better. Okay, I will take a... Oh, this one. This one will fit in with the mirrors in the color of the truck, but... They seem to have some uh, default color that does not fit the cabin color. Now the colors, you don't get much in your uh, stock when in the dealer shop. I'll try in the paint shop, so we'll take this sunlight silver color. Okay, we've uh, we have uh, crossed through all the configuration, and this is how it looks. Not so beautiful, I would say. But here it is now. It's not so good sight to see in the background with uh, those trucks with two cabins and no wheels. But this is important. This truck is important. It's so huge. I've seen a lot of videos about this truck and the exterior really does look as it's built in the real life. Especially with these rectangular uh, mirrors, the front mirrors. But I'm not so sure for the inside. I mean the dashboard and the cabin is so so great. It has a lot of details you can see that the authors have invested a lot of time into this truck mode especially with this uh, um, navigation on the the windscreen so let's check the indicators they seem to work fine you can actually see it from the inside on your mirror now the brakes are working but uh, the brake light uh, is not working the lights are there you get these uh, yellow lights on the sun visor, which is very nice in the dark. Okay, the... Now, what I wanted to show you first, guys, is uh, the new sound that I've downloaded. Uh, it's for Scania and Dove. Actually, a Scania and Volvo trucks, but this truck um, simply takes this sound without any problems, and it works very well. So let me demonstrate this because I really like this sound. It's very realistic. Now you don't hear it as much uh, when you're driving empty. And uh, when you're driving slowly and changing gears in, uh, in uh, regular mode, uh, after you start pressing those that gas pedal, you can hear a bit of that sound, that new sound, like this. Awesome. It's a 
very powerful sound. It gives uh, gives you a feeling that you are really driving a truck with 750 horsepowers. This sound mode is uh, very good. Now I was just demonstrating the motor brake sound. It also looks good. Now when you push it so hard and when you are empty it's not giving you that sound I wanted to show you, which is the best of the best, I think. We'll see this sound that I want to show you after we hook up, hook up the trailer. Okay, I've uh, had some rest and there is another mode I want to show you. And it's this old garage doors open mode. As you can see, all the rest areas uh, behind the doors you can use for your sleeping. And all the doors do open and the mode looks very good. And I've noticed that uh, the doors are opening after you get uh, uh, a little closer to them than the original ones. Anyway, let's uh, go find our load. So, this locomotive uh, is very interesting for me. 75 tons. I wonder if it's uh, that big in the real life. But it doesn't... Uh, uh, it doesn't look uh, so unreal. Now I wanted this uh, to be a mode uh, review video, so I'm not showing you guys my um, driving setup with the, with the wheel and joystick. Because I want, uh, I want you to have full attention to the modes. Because there are a couple of them. And one of them is this trailers pack. Which includes this locomotive. With all the rest, uh, with all the, the rest uh, trailers available. And they are various loads and they are so interesting especially this uh, oversized ones you kind of get this uh, step deck trailer with uh, a lot of axles Now with each and every mode that I've found on the internet and take a look at this cargo. One, two, three, four, five axles on the trailer. Now with each and every mode that I've downloaded and they are so good modes, some of them are not so good but I simply get them out of the game and don't use them take a look at this dispatcher he's a really busy guy constantly on the phone very nice very nice mode 
as well as uh, this truck. You see the physics? It's really, it's really giving you a feeling that you are driving this 75 ton load in the in the real life. So I'm in the second speed and it's so hard for the truck. Awesome. I like this truck a lot. And uh, I can say to the authors that uh, they really should make a V2 uh, version of this mode and to rearrange some details that we saw earlier that are not so good like the wheel under the, the truck and a couple of uh, other things especially the ones with the with that uh, pictures icons in the job market now listen to the truck now it's so hard for him to uh, deal with this uh, big load From the outside, the sound, this mode sound, sound mode, actually, just great. Listen to this. great now if you remember uh, before we uh, took our load it wasn't sounded like this only when uh, fully loaded like uh, for instance now you can hear this powerful sound Simply awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I love this. You can only imagine how it works with my setup with an H shifter. After I press splitter now, then go to a lower speed fight with him and with this load now as I uh, I was uh, trying to, to say that uh, from the outside you don't get this sound I think it, uh, it should be. Anyway, I expect uh, from uh, the author of the sound that uh, there will be a version 2. Because I really enjoy driving this truck with this sound all together. I have uh, dri uh, driven Volvo before I've downloaded this one. And it sounded just uh, the same as uh, right now, and it was really good experience. 
and also I want to say that uh, I've managed to correct uh, my problem with uh, the H shifter setup that I had because and uh, the thing that uh, was a problem is uh, a second controller actually a third controller which I used only for <coughs> <coughs> sorry which I used only for uh, my clutch and since uh, the controller was very cheap and uh, not so good I've uh, quite accidentally just uh, tried to uh, change it with some other controller that I had uh, it's an old Logitech uh, driving wheel uh, it's also force feedback but uh, the force feedback uh, wasn't working so I've just uh, put that one in and uh, it started working okay I, I was even able to uh, do things that the uh, program was not allowing actually the game was uh, not allowing a lot of things and uh, some of them were uh, sound modes that I've uh, that I had installed already but now it works uh, fine it uh, really looks great and uh, now I really enjoy driving. So it wasn't uh, about a game, it was about my controllers and I'm so glad that uh, the thing is now corrected. So I'm going to cut this video now just to show you a couple of uh, uh, outdoor camera views and uh, I don't want this video to be so long so let's keep this uh, to the unloading point take a look how heavy this thing is how long this is now and how am I going to do this well I forgot to check the horn so it sounds fine but it's the original one I think Okay, I've uh, shortened this now. I want you guys uh, to download this mode. Uh, it's kind of my recommendation. Check it out. See how it works. I know I'm uh, very thrilled with it. And I know I'm going to use it a lot. And uh, I'll be seeing you in some of my next reviews or gameplays. Not sure what I'm going to put next. But uh, it's definitely going to be with um, my setup. My uh, Driving Force GT and a Logitech Wingman, which is a force feedback joystick. And that's it for this video so see you guys